Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to have a kind of a first try test out of a photo editing software which isn't Lightroom. Dun 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 dun! Okay, for me, I really pretty much just edit on Adobe Lightroom 3 or 2 or whatever, it's not really that important, and then also GIMP, which is graphical image manipulation program or something like that, uh, which is kind of like Photoshop but for free. And anyway, I've had a company contact me called something, oh, Ever, Ever Imaging Limited, and they've said, hey Dom, we've got a photo editing software called Great Photo, and it's the top selling photo app uh, that you can get for your Mac. And I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, really, is it? Hmm. And they said, would you like to try it out? We can send you the code and you can try it out. I was like, ah, okay, I like the sound of that. Um, so this is effectively the first try of me just downloading it and seeing how well it works. Now for me, I would always say, an important thing about any software, especially nowadays, is that it has to be easy to use. You have to be able to figure it out with how, without having to go through instruction books. You know, so many softwares now are given without a box with a CD and an instruction book, and if you can't figure it out straight away, then you're probably going to be missing out on a lot of the software's ability. So this is more just to see how easy it is for me to figure it out. Uh, and also see if there's anything good about it as well. So I'm off to go download it. Okay, so I've downloaded it now and I've got it uh, open. So this is what the, the little icon looks like. And I've pressed it and it says, Great photo, open files or open a folder. Uh, let's go for just open files. Let's use a couple photos. Uh, and I'll bring in... Oh, okay. First question. Can it deal with RAW? Hmm, okay, so let's, I'll, what I'll do is, one of the photos which I did in one of my previous videos, which I made into an HDR, because assuming this software's got HDR ability as well, um, I shall bring that photo in. Uh, well, it should be three photos, a kind of a middle tone, a dark tone, and a bright tone. Let's see if I can find them. Okay, so this is three uh, Canon 5D photos, and this is it loading it in, okay? So this is the platform, this is what it looks like. Okay, so I like the big, simple to use icons here, I like the open file, add image, all that kind of stuff. On the right, it's got the information, so it's a raw, okay, brilliant, brilliant, good job, it's able to import the raw files. What's this bit? Uh, save file format, okay, 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 cool. And uh, let's see what's this. Compare view, fit to window size. Okay, that's size stuff and compare views. Okay, so, okay, and let's, okay, I've got my one, two, three photos down here, which should be the roughly the different exposure settings. Uh, they seem pretty good so far, so far there. Let's see, let's just click HDR, see what happens. Okay, so I've got to please select bracketing photos from following snapshot. So I go guess one, two, cool, nice big tickety bots there. Start, let's say ghost reduction. What is ghost reduction? How to choose exposures? What is my okay? Let's just go start merging to HDR. Oh, I like this. I like this how we can get it straight to HDR. I suspect this might just be quite a basic uh, HDR that we're seeing here, maybe. Oh, okay. Good, good effort uh, that it's done. So yeah, like that as well. Let's see, and we can make it a little bit bigger by doing that. Okay, so okay, it's got it. It looks like it could do with a little bit more punchiness, a little bit more micro contrast kind of stuff that you can get in Photomatics. But oh, it's done really well with the the trees up there compared to the Photomatics. Uh, Okay, pretty good. It looks a bit flat. Okay, so we've got strength we can change around with. So if we lower it, it'll be less HDR-ish. And if we bring it up to the top, then it'll be pretty more obvious. Yeah, I don't like it so much there. Maybe around in the middle. Local lighting. That's kind of, looks like brightness brightness changing. Let's keep that in the middle. Oh, now we've got other ones. Basic, brightness, cool, contrast, whoa. Contrast down, wow. 
Okay, tone adjustment. Okay, shadows down, highlights up, blown out, or down. Oh, okay, you've got lots of options. White point. Yeah, where the white point is. Black point. Nice. Oh, wait a minute, we've even got curves. So I can do actual curve adjustments here. Nice. Yeah, you don't have curve adjustments in your photomatics if you're wanting to do, um, uh, if you wanted to edit the photo. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, lots of details adjustments. So that's like your sharpness, chromatic average, and lens adjustments. So that's like your vignetting going on there. Wow. Wow, okay. Uh, I would say I haven't edited that very well, but wait, oh, tone mapping enhancer, compressor, balance. Okay, there are whew, a lot of options to figure out here, actually. Um, not bad. Yeah, I like that a lot. Okay, well, I've pretty much just ruined that photo now, but that's that's not a worry. Okay, so for their for their HDR, I would say that works pretty damn well. They've done there. Let's see what their big aperture is like. Let's click that. See what happens. We've got nature. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I like that as well. I like that a lot. And this is adding on to the HDR shot, which I've just done as well. Cool. Okay, now what do I want to do if I want to save that? Oh wait, let's give color splash. What does that do? Do I want to save the current image? Yes, I do. Untitled. Uh, Dom's first try. Now, I think that big aperture effect, although you can do it in Photoshop, Photoshop costs about £600. You can do it in GIMP, but it looks like it takes ages to figure out in GIMP. This is a nice, fast option that we've got here. The rendering time, the loading time, that's taken a little bit longer than I expected. But again, these are 24 megabyte raw files that I'm using here. Uh, I'd imagine if you're using JPEG, which is probably what you might want to use in this. Uh, it would be a, a lot quicker. Color splash. Oh no. Don't think you'll see me using color splash because uh, that would be selective colorization. Uh, no doubt I'll be using that at all. Collage. Let's see if we can make a collage. That one, what did we just drag and drop or something? Cool, and it's got you a whole bunch of options of different college collages. I can't even pronounce that word. Um, another good option like that, and you've got backgrounds and all that kind of stuff. Okay, cool, right? Let's see effect. What effects? Do you want to save that? No, don't save that. Let's see, effect on one photo. What effects do we have? So we've got FX. FX over there. Let's see what FX we can get. Ooh, Dawn Light. I like that. That would be quite a good old fashioned one. Mini Oven. No. Nostalgic. Yes. Pittsburgh. No. Red Wash. Oost. Okay. Okay, so that's a couple of effects, vignettes, ah, crazy, ooh, ah, ooh, max, I like max. Okay, and let's see, frame, what have we got? So we can add frame, oh, this makes things so much easier. Oh, oh, I like that, I like that. I don't like, uh, I don't like that one, no. Ooh, ooh. Uh, again, I always kind of say if your frame is more important than your photo, your photo isn't that interesting. However, some of these frames look like they could definitely enhance it. Like this one, where it, it just kind of looks like it's kind of been printed on. I like that a lot. Like it. Good. Uh, okay, let's right click. Let's see what happens if I right click. Let's save that. 
No, no, you don't do that. You do export. Okay, Dom's framed image. Right, I'll stick this up on Facebook, see what people think. Cool, okay, I like that. Totally blown out. It looks almost like a Holga thing, but yeah, we've got super sharp in the center. We've got blur down here, though. I'd probably want that to be in focus, but ooh. liking that, liking that a lot, liking the effects. Let's see what the fine edit, basic adjustments, brightness, contrast, yeah. Calm it down, saturation, tone adjustments, curves, color adjustment, detail enhancer, sharpening, lens adjustment. Oh, right, okay. Um, not bad, not bad. In fact, really good, really like it. I think I, uh, I can happily say I will be using this. What I'll be doing is I'll potentially still be editing the photos in Lightroom because that's a big catalogue for me to be able to see everything in and I've been using it for years and it's uh, noise reduction is absolutely brilliant as well. But I think once I've finished with the photo and I've got the final JPEG which I'm about to send out, definitely using the frames, maybe doing some HDR with it, see if I like it compared to the Photomatics and the big aperture one. Mmm, like that. I wonder how long it'll take for me to get bored of that. I suspect quite a while. Okay, but anyway, the guys at Ever Imaging, uh, I've said that there's a, that they're happy to give out a couple of these in their in a competition. So for you guys, part of my subscribers on YouTube, part of my fans on Facebook, part of my team of critiquers on Facebook, uh, let's work. I'm going to make a, a competition here where we can get you the code for this software if you want to get it yourself. Um, and that video will be coming up soon. But just let you know, this is it. It's Great Photo version 1.04, and uh, so far I'm enjoying it. And I've only just this is this I haven't even tried this out. This is me just turning it on and putting in the first photo. So yeah, check it out. Cheers. Bye bye.